Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today we're live streaming, but today we're also the purple player clicking the ready button, hopping in because we jumped into somebody else's classic fixed lobby, and we're going to be playing classic fixed. I don't even know what settings he's got. I don't know if it's true random. I don't know if there's blizzards. We'll find out in a moment. There's no blizzards. I'm la Oh, God, I'm in the Australian position. No! Yellow, white, oh, Jesus, Jesus. Sting face with the resub. Thank you, bro. Take it and like it. I will. Oh, man, thank you, Carter, also for the bits. Uh, we are playing Classic Fixed World Dom Easy AI. Alliances on. No fog, no blizzards, no ports. Okay. So I did look when I saw Classic Fix Lobby. The only thing I look at to see is if there's alliances on. If there's alliances on, I'll join it and I'll look at the rest of the settings later. And uh, so this is, I have, I'm purple. I'm in the sixth position. And what do I have? A great spawn for Australia, but obviously you don't fight with noobs on Australia as Adel whoop de doo from sideways acorn shell country knows. And he already hit me, so we can't go for that. Uh, I have a great spawn for South America. I bet you Black's gonna gonna put up a fight. We'll find out. Uh, our opponents: Sideways Acorn Land, Adel Asalad. Uh, we got General Capadia from the United States. We've got General Mason from Unspecified. And we're gonna tell Black that I'm sorry I need to take your territory. And uh, Patrick Tamanaha from the United States. He's giving me a thumbs up. Give you a heart. Blue loses a two from a four on two from Yellow. Okay, so. This and, and a five on three just happened in here. The skill level of this lobby is insane. So you can play games with masters and experts and grandmasters and actually find an easier time predicting how people will play. So you can kind of get a win. If you play with a bunch of novices and beginners, it's a full on Fiesta dog town and it's an entirely different game. And I think a, a lot of people out there watching and playing this game don't appreciate how absolutely ridiculous it is to try to win a game with a bunch of novices and beginners doing the most ridiculous shit. With trades on three, rolling 9v9s and losing only two troops. Stuff like that. You have to win in that. That's the fire. <laughs> you have to win in that. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get out of yellow's way. He won't even... Oh. I'm gonna wait till the turn's passed and I'm gonna ally yellow. He also four on two down here, he's a psycho. I'm getting out of his North America. I'm gonna move this two off of Brazil to give black a chance to roll the three on one. Black and white here, a little confrontation, eh? Three on one, good usage of this troop before you lose it in this corner. I mean, blue's a lunatic. He's gonna take this at some point. I could actually, I could literally just put nine troops here and blue cries. White wants an alliance. Okay, cool. I would like an alliance with yellow. Please. This is what I want. Please, yellow, be my friend. It's the best I can do for now. Yes. And I give him a thumbs up. He accepted it. Let's go. Dogtown is a dangerous place even when they don't party. It, You know it. Jack, Black should full send for Australia. <laughs> Why play reasonably? I mean, there's going to be a bit of a confrontation for Africa. Pink is clearly putting his line in the sand for, for Europe. White has eight troops to fight Yellow in North America. He's going to be trying to survive, save these troops somehow. But Yellow, Yellow got a great spawn. He spawned with like everything in North America, right? All he's got to do is manipulate other people to get their troops out of his way. But this is a good spawn. I had an okay spawn for South America and Australia, but I was last in turn order and obviously Blue's nuts. So we never, oh yes. So that is a smart move by Yellow. Moving out of my way to let me bring my troops out. Interesting. So yellow rolls a 4v2 turn 1. That's a very novice move. But this is more of a higher level move. Moving his troops out of the way. So I can come out. No. No. Damn it. 
All right. I'm going to get sandwiched by white here, aren't I? Okay, black not only takes a card, he burns his troop. But he's also threatening white to go in here and mess me up. I'm not a fan of this position. <laughs> what? I... White wants to run through? White wants to run through me so he can get out to Brazil. <laughs> I lose this troop anyways. I let White go through. Does he do this? Does he move right through? Three on one, blue tries for a card. Blue's nuts. This guy's lost his marbles. Completely. I accept an alliance with pink. No reason not to, I guess. I So I don't know. General Mason, this is a new account number. I don't know if he raw dogs me or if he comes through and moves to Africa to force black out or something. But my right play is to get out of his way, right? I could take this bonus and try to guard it with like two sixes. And he's got an eight and a nine both pointed at me. He might just come in with both stacks and my game's over. I mean, he would also get owned, but I'm, I'm being nice to him. And then he can have tension over here. The problem is yellow gets North America real fast. No, no. Okay, so he didn't do what I thought. He could have also brought the eight through and then threatened yellow. I, I need cards, maybe? <clears throat> it's all Kyle's fault. I read one message and it's Hippo saying it's Kyle's fault. What is my fault? YouTube talks about strategy, Twitch, let's talk about gangbangs. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. YouTube is a completely different chat than the Twitch chat. <laughs> Yellow says attack white. Bro, if I knew what the fuck you wanted, white, I would work with you. You are making no sense. It's like this guy, like, this guy walked into Subway and he's like, I would like a hamburger with thumbtacks in it and, and I, I want ketchup and then upside down peanuts. And then I'm the guy trying to make the sub. Like, what the fuck did you ask me? And then he's like, he's pissed. He's pissed that I'm not doing it. That's exactly what's happening right now. How the fuck am I supposed to know what you want, idiot boy? <laughs> What the hell do you want? That's what I mean. Get out of my way. Where'd the music go? The, the name of this song is Bamboo Shampoo. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Think like a noob, drive your four into white's 11, show yellow he should hit white too. I'm so lost. You're supposed to give him South America and lose the match for him. Ah! <laughs> I'm also trapped. Well, pink's 19's not open to my three, I go up with it, I guess? I don't know. No, now it's open.
What am I supposed to do? Good luck. Thank you. Dude trade incoming. Sorry, I don't know how to make a thumbtack hamburger sandwich with ketchup and upside down whatever the hell you want. Completely s no idea what he wanted. This guy could have left Yellow's continent. He could have went through and fought him and killed Yellow first. He could have done a million things, but instead he sat in my way, blocked my bonus, and gave me thumbs downs. <laughs> does he trade in Ram Dingo Yellow or does he ram me because he's thumbs downing me for nothing I've even done? I've done nothing to this guy. If any of you have a theory on why this guy hates me, please let me know. Because you do need to try to understand them. I'm lost. Yellow with the Ram Dingle. They need to rename the No Trade on 4 to I Just Got Kilted. Rough. Rough, rough. There it goes. What kind of fast moving is this? An alt account. <clears throat> He asked you to send nudes? Oh, damn it, I didn't send him nudes. Okay, give Black a thumbs up. Black takes this bonus? No. <laughs> Black sets up to kill me next turn. Sweet. Love it. I can't actually take Brazil. I can't take Brazil yet. Because I can't open him. I'm allied with everybody but the sideways acorn boy. My two stays alive. Pinky boy. My two stays. I, I'm going to live. We're going to live to trade. It's going to be a dude trade, but we're going to live to use it. I think. <clears throat> Why didn't pink just kill white? Oh, it's only two cards. He's going to kill him next turn. Attack yellow? Suck my butthole, dude. Like, the whole butthole. Suck it. <laughs> That's what I think about you. Alright. We got a wild card. We have a big trade. Holy crap. <clears throat> what kind of noodles do you want, White? I don't know what he wants, Pit. <clears throat> dude, if he's just spamming everybody's stupid shit like he's spamming me, it'd be kind of funny. Imagine you're... Imagine you can see all the Alliance communication and this guy's just sending thumbs downs to everybody and telling everybody to hit everybody. And he gets sixth place. For the culture, do a dude trade. I can't. All right, I guess I could, but no. Look at Blue just stacking and chilling. He's laughing his butt off. Yeah. The boy who lived. This game is giving off serious Harry Potter vibes, except that Ginger is the star of the show. Bruh, the ginger's the star in Harry Potter, too. That's the secret. Good old Weasley. <clears throat> What's up, Joe? Uh, Kilted, glad to see you streaming again. Missed your content. I had to resort to watching Rust to get my Ram Dingled fix. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> so I'm going to finally get this bonus and have no cards. Five on two loses. Oh. Dude, Black, I love you. So if I leave a stack in Asia... White hits it. If I kill white... Then I don't have to worry about that, right?
It's not going to be a big trade. Yes, it is. White boy, goodbye. Go eat your thumbtack hamburger sandwich or whatever the hell was going on there. <clears throat> whatever kind of noodles you want. Blacks of GM? Maybe. I joined somebody else's classic fix lobby. We have easy AI, weird settings. It could be a bunch of novices. Could be people collabing and playing with their friends. That's why I usually I host lobbies. I don't think there's any of that, but I'm just saying anything's possible when you join someone else's lobby. <clears throat> In my lobby, the most likely scenario is a sniper. So uh, I'd rather deal with the risk of joining someone else's lobby. Giving him a vampire chicken, thumbs down and break alliance. I didn't break the alliance, I, thumbs down, die. You can stay allied with me. Give yellow a thumbs up. I'm presuming he's not gonna hit my four stack. That doesn't make any sense. Pink's gonna hit the four stack. Yeah. Give him a heart. Why are you pointing at me? I'm not breaking your ass, motherfucker. Hello, Mr. Sexy Man Killed It. Hello. White gets ram dingled and eliminated from the game. Yeah. So my option, like, you know, if you're playing the South American position, you need a stack out here to get cards somehow, right? So if I ran over, Black let me out to get cards. Black's playing very smart. He let me come through him to have a stack to get cards. Very team player organized or oriented right there. Much respect. I have the big trade on three. Give him a heart. Black is actually really good. And he's not threatening me. Whew. Black is really good. Interesting. I wonder if black wins the game. Pink's going to take Europe now. Yellow has North America. Okay. At some point... This board being stable like this is tough. This is a very tough board for it being stable. Good thing I have this. I don't want to have more cards. We're gonna go here. Okay. It's just, everybody's on one card. Everybody traded, right? It's not like someone's sitting on four or five cards and I could have used that trade on three to do something. Oh, God. Fuck you, Acorn! God dice, too. Okay, now I actually don't have a move, but cards get. <clears throat> Which is fine. He got God dice. So blue immediately smacks me. Kills my 10 stack, only loses 4 troops, and then kills all my 1s, losing 0. So he actually killed 14 of my troops for 4. If he lost even 6 more troops, I mean, he'd be very vulnerable, but I guess not. That's unfortunate. So we're skipping on one card. That's our game now. That's just classic fixed. Suicide blue. Blue's smart. It was a good move. <laughs> He's opening me to suicide blue. There's no point in me leaving a stack in here. I killed white, so I might be able to leave a stack here. Even a 10 stack blue takes out, though. I don't hate his play. Blue being the one to do it is interesting, though. No sense taking cards. I'm Black's fine. He might be playing a little bit more passive than I would expect. Like, if I'm black, I'm not this friendly. But, I mean, he lets me out to hit kill blue if I want to. Blue's a psycho. I'll let Blue do whatever he... I'll let Blue do whatever he wants. He's a psycho. Black now comes up to Middle East, I think, and, and fortifies in. <laughs> it benefits me to play card skip over here if Blue's a psycho. 
Yeah, yeah, blue probably gets fifth. And we'll see what the board looks like after that happens. I can't do much, but I'm not worth killing. I just have a big stack and one card. Yellow and pink are going to get very strong. Blue's next fight is to be breaking these bonuses, I guess. But once black for like black and pink are going to have Ukraine, Middle East, two big stacks. So then the next person blue can really piss off is only really yellow, depending on the size of yellow's Kamchatka stack. So size will matter, right? Two forties here. He doesn't piss off, but maybe he hits an eight or something. He can't do anything to me anymore. I'm assuming black's going to do the correct play, right? <clears throat> I think Black wants to, uh, maybe he stays in here because he doesn't want me to break him, but I'm not going to. We'll see. Yeah, okay, he does exactly what I thought. Well played. Yeah, he made Black an enemy. He lost the three on one too. All right. We are the single stack card skipping South American player, and we didn't want that to be our game, but we kind of ended up in this position, and we're going to do it. We're going to play it out, see how it goes. Obviously, if these guys want to play a four hour game and everybody's a passive Sally Wanker, I probably will uh, eject at some point. I won't quit, but I'll find a way to go out in style. Probably at my enemy over here. Size doesn't matter. Oh, sure. I see yellow betraying pink before blue does something. So there's also yellow betraying pink. Yellow is also a little bit crazy. Rolled the four on two at the start. But then he also got out of the way to kind of let me through. And then he got pissed at yellow and slammed him, which was a good play, though. Took his bonus. Didn't overgreed take it too early. Didn't pick fights with anybody. Got his bonus eventually. He did have a god spawn for it. So yeah, maybe, maybe he's the person that pushes the pedal down a little on pink. Maybe he bought 69 troops. I now get broken by yellow. Oh, okay. Interesting. I wonder how that pushes the game. It lost zero troops on those vortex. What is this fortify? So it is easy AI. Yellow, okay, interesting play. Oh, doggy time. I thought he might kill blue. Will he kill blue? 80 troops to kill 42, 44. Get four cards, take Australia. It's a very easy hold. Too bad I couldn't kill blue. Are you going to fight the bot? Shit. Hmm. You should blitz it once your stacks... Okay, blitz that. You have to blitz that, right? Okay. So, if you're going to manual roll, when you have a less than 50% blitz chance, you do want to manual it. But once your stacks are even or you have more... You're going to have more than a 50% roll. So that's when you blitz it. Because that gives you better odds of actually succeeding than continuing to manual. <laughs> he doesn't even get a card. Cool. Um, well, I'm going to let it out in the black now. Take an A? I mean, any damage I really take, I am vulnerable to dying. We'll let yellow hold North America again. I mean, pink maybe loses a four stack. Blue probably gets opened. Maybe it comes through and breaks. Maybe I should have put down here so I wasn't on the stack. I don't really want to be trapped by the butt. 
Dude, bots. Ugh, what an odd game now. <clears throat> like we were like, what? What's gonna happen next? And then the yellow bot weird fortifies. So pink doesn't lose a four, and the stack doesn't move because I, I didn't fortify the right position. Ramdingle yellow. Hypocrite has been following Kilted for one year, five months. Jesus. Johnny has been following Kilted for one year, ten months, seven days, and twenty hours. Shit. One year and five months for Hippo. It must be to the second or something. <laughs> now he's going to split to guard. Yeah. Yeah, I opened this. I, I did this wrong. I screwed up. I should have went down here. I screwed up. What's up, uh, Victor Lampa? Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome in. Welcome in. What's up, one shot? Wait, one shot and Carter followed at the exact same time? That's funny. Okay, he does go through yellow. Black's now pointed at me and at yellow. Okay. This is tough. Yo, what's up? Call me through with the 169 bits. Thank you, man. When did I start streaming again? What do you mean? Like when I first started streaming Risk would have been like an in, I guess, April of two years ago. So like almost two full years. And then I took that summer, I took that summer as a break and came back like right at the end of August or like very first day of September or something like that. Yep, the bot's gonna attack with the 20, it's its only card. Shit, go to the right, go to Brazil. You suck bot, you are so annoying. Well, I can sneak to North America now. <clears throat> I can run to North America. And then get cards. I can actually trap the 16 down here too. I'll stay in Central America so there's no fortifies back. Jesus, this game. Nice old 69 for black. Oh, not anymore. Oh, man. Dude, it's really hard. Master, if not GM, enemy for sure. <clears throat> It's really hard to play from this position. I mean, we've definitely won from worse, but... I bet you we all followed you and Pete raided you and told us to beg you to play Risk again when you were playing that horror game. Oh yeah, that August. I was addicted to like Dead by Daylight that August. Okay. The bot might attack up and kind of guard my butt from black, I guess. I'll take cards in North America. Maybe I can slowly take North America over some time. Pink backed off. This 12 comes out, though. It might still hit that. We'll see. Does that have a trade? Yeah, it was like uh, the start of that free-for-all world championships or something. The one that was starting around that September. I think Pete raided me. I, my first stream back was like uh, the round one game where I got suicided. I got double suicided by two people in Troy. Like Trollifax was one of the new people there too, yeah. I'll keep rolling. <clears throat> Get up here and protect me. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. I just want cards. This bot sucks. You suck massive danglers. I should type in the follow wages. 
Well, I started no, because I I, I I streamed a couple years before I started the risk stream. Kilted is not following Kilted. Well, get wrecked. <clears throat> I don't even care about my own stuff. <laughs> I don't think you can follow yourself. I'm pretty sure you can't. I remember, oh, one shot. I remember my first interaction with Kilted. I was like two weeks into playing and I wanted a top player to do a FOD review for me. C. Carter 1996 cheered X1000, Kilted to the bot. You suck massive danglers. That's accurate. That's accurate. <laughs> Thank you, Carter, for the thousand bits. Jesus, man. Thank you. Sorry, wait, one shot's message. Uh, you were two weeks into playing and you wanted a top player to do a VOD review. Oh yeah, I did that. Pete said no, but Kilted said he would, and then he went over the game. Yeah, I remember that. Was it on stream? I thought we did a 1v1. Maybe it was on stream. Damn. He takes some damage, but he is hitting the bot. Um, refused to be paid, only said to follow and watch his content. Yeah, man. They say, never meet your heroes, but they couldn't be more wrong. What are you talking about? Now you're trolling. Okay. The first part of that, I understand. I agree. Uh... Doggy time. Black should have just taken the bonus. Yeah, Black should have taken the bonus. I don't know why he didn't complete. Left a 10 here and went back. I don't know. <laughs> what did he just smoke? That was a five of yellow, right? Is everybody hitting yellow? If everybody hits yellow and I get a North America or something. Still AFK. Someone has to have followed long? Yeah, Pete would. I have, I have some friends from before Risk that followed for longer. What's up, Risky Phil? We're playing Classic Fixed and we're in a tough spot, dude. Oh, it was on stream. Okay. I didn't remember one shot. I was memeing about the hero thing. I know, I know, I know. It was a nice thing to do. Yeah. I try, man. I genuinely care about the community. It sounds sappy and gay, so. He wants me to take North America. Like, the sec if I overextend into yellow, I die, right? Like, he'll kill me? So I can't just take yellow hits. He's trying to leave me in my slaughter by telling me to hit yellow. I can't. I have no troops. What do you want me to do? <clears throat> These guys aren't fighting. Blue's chilling. Yellow has three cards. We'll sit in Ontario with an Alaska card. <clears throat> That's because you're sappy and gay. Yeah, then we got one shot into risk tournaments. He wanted me to at least have South America to get rid of the bot and feed potential. Yeah, Black is trying to... Like, obviously, we want to kill Yellow, get him out of the game, progress the game, right? But I think Black also wants me to waste some troops on the bot so he can look at a potential double kill on me and, and the bot, right? Because then it's a three-player end game. He might have a great alliance relationship with Pink and might be ready to work with Pink to kill Blue. So if I overextend, I am going to taste it. So I have to be a little hesitant. And, and if he starts putting troops into, like... <clears throat> now I tell him hit yellow. If he hits the 17, I could kill yellow and try to hold North America. Is he gonna hit, is he gonna hit the 17? No, exactly.
He wants me to use my troops, and then he comes in and kills me after. If he hit the 17, I can kill the extra 25 or whatever and get the four cards into a trade. And then I can be North America boy. I'll be weak, vulnerable, but uh, that would make sense. In this position, I can't. I've got five ones to hit. I might as well take a card. That, that works? No way, caught a live stream. What's up? What's up, man? Welcome in. Hi, I love your live stream, big fan. What's up, bad boy? What's up, Jin? Jin? I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, welcome in, guys. He wanted you to suicide. Yeah, he, he wants me to suicide out, right? What were your thoughts on Spuds round six? Uh, Rivertown? Round six was Rivertown, right? Or or did you mean... I'm assuming you're, you're asking Spuds round seven, the, the zombies game? Oh, I got another one to hit. Let's go, baby. Does he open the 33? He does. I mean, I'm just going to keep sneaking across. I should go to Asia. I mean, I, I think at some point, if these guys get fed up with this bot, maybe I can kill it into being a North America guy. If I, I think if I go sit in Asia, at some point, Blue might just get pissed off and kill me, and then I get fifth. Blue would also die, but like this guy's kind of a lunatic. So I, I have to play around that too. <clears throat> I have a suspicion Blue wants Asia. Yeah, Blue's nuts, right? So I have to play around that. I could have ran to Alaska to get my plus two, but that's okay. Ooh, who has hit a 10 stack of years before in Asia? Yeah, he did. <clears throat> if I stop taking cards, it will force yellow to expand more into Asia. Or it might card skip. It's an easy AI. It might actually just do nothing. It's weird. It, it, it has attacked a lot for an easy AI. I started playing Risk because of Kilted, and I managed to defeat a Master on my first ranked game and a Grandmaster on my third. What a teacher. Jesus, man. Congrats. Dude, it actually it feels really good to beat a Grandmaster for the first time. And Masters. Like, winning those games against, like, higher ranked people when you first come in feels real good, man. Congrats. Why did Blue block a strip? Blue is uh, not an experienced player, is, is how I would sum that up. <laughs> I have more troops in yellow. Let's go. What's up, Lord Capella with the Prime sub? Thank you, man. Go to Asia! I don't think Asia's the play. <clears throat> I mean, if, okay, so if I go to Asia, yes, yellow will take North America and start stacking these borders. And I can sit in Kamchatka and get cheap cards. Yeah. I just... I want... They're not going to feed me the bot. You might be right. <clears throat> you attack yellow, fucker dog. How about this? I am... I, see, I, I, I'm with you. Let's go to Asia. We'll lose a troop on the way there. No, but we won't lose a troop on the way there. No, we lost. Fuck. We went from 70 troops to 68. We didn't get to stop at 69. I'm sorry. I tried to make it 69 in Camp Jack. It didn't work. <clears throat> we'll let yellow take North America now. And we will just stack here and let it build on these guys' borders. And then pink has to pull his stack back. Black will have to buff this. Or they have to hit it. Blue runs his 37 into me immediately or what? Like... Blue is a psycho. I don't actually think Asia might... Like, there's downsides to Asia. But also, nobody's going to feed me yellow. <clears throat> I, the way I... 
this might be better for me getting fed yellow. If yellow takes North America, these guys are forced to come in and hit the stacks maybe. And then maybe I can come swoop in and kill it. Blows 37s in my face. So that's great. Big fan. Okay. I do have the biggest stack on its border, so it actually might fortify to me with this 8. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have one troop more than yellow right now, but it has North America. Don't stack there or yellow will too, I know. But I also want them to be forced to break it in other spots. Like, pink has to hit this 20, this 14, or he has to buff this to like a 40. And if he doesn't, he's risking it. He's risking some stuff. He's buffing it. Okay. <clears throat> Go to Japan! This guarantees me cards for now. The thing is, I want access to yellow in case they start swinging at it. I'm in such a shitty position. Jesus. Fuck you. You hit yellow. You know what, Black? I'm starting to want to hit you. Fuck. Hit yellow. <clears throat> 68. Dude, I can't get it to land on 69. What do you want? <laughs> Does he knock it out? Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling Blue might do this. Maybe I'll try an alliance with blue? I don't know. Black's gonna kill yellow now for one card? Uh, probably not. Yellow gets no cards. It's gonna one card with 65 troops. Hmm. Black's gonna start nibbling at yellow? I don't think so. I think black just wants everybody else to do shit. Oh, you're right. 25 on a 25. Maybe pink goes now? He's probably asking pink also to hit this. He does. Interesting. Ugh. Yes, I could kill it for one card, but it's not worth it. I'm going to get an artillery right now. Damn. Blue could kill it for one card if he wants. <clears throat> Once yellow's out, I'm going to go back in. This was a coordination to get the yellow bot killed. It's actually well played. Everybody wanted to kill yellow. Here's the other thing. Does Blue bring his 74 up and take North America and then concede Australia to me? Or does somebody else greed and take North America? Or do these guys want to start card trading in here? Because if Blue exits, I'm coming in. Okay. Blue wants to stay down here. If I was blue there, I would have used that as an opportunity to transition to North America. Because <clears throat> where do you want to be in the long term? He gets the dude trade. He backs off. Give pink a heart and uh, a thumbs up and a heart. <clears throat> we'll see. What's Pink's play? Takes the card and goes back, or what? Stop losing troops.
Triple Cavalry. I will just trade it. I don't want to be on five cards. <clears throat> Blue won't ally me. He's going to come in the back door. I thought about knocking Blue out and staying. No? This I'm fine with. If they both back off, I can take this and stack Alaska. And I'll card skip in North America. I wonder if Blue ever put fortifies into my face at that point. They also, like, people are using alliances to tag team people. And if I'm the weakest, they may tag team me. <clears throat> Is this fixed? Yeah, it's uh, classic fixed. The single stack in Asia game? No, no, no. I don't want to do that anymore. I, I, I'm not going to just single stack till they all take turns killing me or somebody just kills me to take third. I like that. Well, let's see. I'm gonna attack nice and slow. Now, if I put 25s and 40s in their faces, they may hit me. Ready to guard from blue. And then ask them to both hit. I, I thumbs up both of them and then uh, attack blue, attack blue, and then heart, and then heart. <clears throat> I'm kind of telling them, let's choke out blue with the deadliest trap. If they let me hold this and we deadliest trap blue, that's great for me. It gets me into the final three. And then depending on what blue does, maybe I still get fourth if blue suicide slams me to take it before I get to catch up in troops. But this is a massive increase. Uh... And this is massive, massively good for me. Tricky. What do you want, foam? That's it for me. AMA gonna go play some Gao. Is that Gears of War or God of War? Because there's a couple Gao's. Dude cards, man. I'm actually not even going to come out with my stack. Or should I? I'll make it a 20 so blue can't do anything to it. But I also want to kind of leave something in here in case these guys want to backdoor me. <laughs> I, I, I think black's very good. I don't know how good pink is. So if I have no troops in North America, even if I have a thousand stack in Kamchatka, some people see an empty North America and they just take it, right? Oh, fuck yeah. All right, now we're getting, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we're deadly as trapping. Who made the send dudes emote? It's literally the best I've seen. Uh, Mallory got somebody on Etsy to make it. Somebody had a send nudes emote, and it was like noodles. It was a bowl of noodles. And she got them to make a, a send dudes version, which I thought was really cool. Another dude. Oh my god. Gingers of War. Oh, is that what you're going to go play? That's the G-O-W? You'll get a cab and a cannon next two cards. Just you wait. No, no. More dudes one shot. You got to know. So this is incredibly good. I will catch up to blue. I will catch up to blue. Oh, 116 gets opened. He, he opened that for a reason. What was it? Like, Blue's not going to ram dingle. 
either of you here, right? Four player on game of classic fixed where I am the weakest player is awkward. No one of the dim dab. I just traded three dudes in. What is this? They're coming back to me. Oh? Ooh. If blue suicides, if blue is the guy that suicides, black and pink get to act first. So if blue did suicide into either of these guys, the other one would get to kill me and these two. The other one would win immediately. <clears throat> so that's actually scary turn order wise. Now everyone will take a card forever. The longer it does do that, the more I catch up. What's up, Y Plummy? Thank you for the follow, man. This like this this could be a game we win going from the South American terrible position to the single stack position to like there's this could be a game we pull out something crazy. Thank you for the follow, man. Welcome in Canadian dude magnet. Hey, killed it. What's the logic behind keeping a sixty nine stack trap behind the twenty eight? Beside the memes, of course. Ah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> so, I, I did just say that. So, to deadliest trap somebody, it is uh, Ukraine, Middle East, and Kamchatka, the three stacks, and you choke out the blue player. I, I know black won't backstab me. Black's a skilled player, I can already tell. Pink is okay. I don't know pink's skill level in total. Because they're still guarding from black here, and they're guarding from me here. So, pink I'm a little bit more hesitant about. Oh. See, black starts making real moves. And so if pink's a little bit newer, and if I have all of my troops in Kamchatka, pink might see a bunch of ones in North America and be like, oh, I'll just break that. He's got no defense. Even though I'd have 100 troops here. Some noobs do that. So it, it's... I mean... Uh, you can guard it from Kamchatka and elite players will know, but some people that aren't will see no troops and just a bunch of ones. They'll be like, that's an easy bonus. I'll take it. <clears throat> Stuff like that. Artillery? Yeah, baby. Why don't you just single stack in Asia? Why you got a locked Alaska? Oh, okay, yeah, you're asking the same question. I think you underestimate Pink. He, t he looks like a world champion level player to me. Maybe. Okay. It is a little scary if Black does open blue here at some point with his stack out of the way. Blue could Ram Dingle, and that would actually be neat. Maybe a blue Ram Dingle would be fun. He comes through, hits a seven of Pink, breaks all the bonuses, doesn't kill me. Ideally. <clears throat> Blue's gonna make me trap my stack. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't mind. I'll just leave that. Blue still won't accept my alliance. Okay. Iffy situation, man. I actually don't like having this. This proximity is terrifying. The problem is I think Blue's trying to card block me. Which I don't blame him because I'm weak and I'm catching up to him in troops. So card blocking me, I, I mean, that at least accomplishes something. The longer this goes, though, the more Blue falls behind. <clears throat> Do I have double 69s? If I lose a troop, I will.
No trade on three. Pink has been taking a card and passing like a GM for 50 turns. True. Hmm. I think single stack cam jack is significantly worse since you get choked out of an A due to one point versus needing to invest troops in hitting Alaska. You gotta answer my Facebook Messenger said uh, messages later. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, we just take another card. Strategically taking a card and then doing nothing. But you can see our size now. I'm seven troops behind blue, but at the end of this turn, we'll be the same. Ugh. Not if I get cards like this. Intense game. This game could kick off in any direction. We could win. I don't think we're going to win, but we could. But also, like, from the position we had early game, like, remember White with his with his shenanigans in here causing us problems? We overextend to kill him because I think it was the right play. But then Blue knocks us out and we're single stacking South America. We are the weakest of five players in that moment. So in a five-player game, we're the weakest. And then Yellow bots out and the bot even ram dingles us. And then we are super weak with, in the five-player game. We're not even half the size of pink and black at one point. Yeah, I'll just put this stack together. I make it... Oh my god, stop giving me dude cards, dog. It was like five dudes in a row, and then a big trade, and then four of the next five cards were dudes again. Yeah, so before Blue got this nice 10 trade, I was beating him in troops. Three hours game, let's go. <clears throat> one dude equals one like and one prayer for Kyle. I, I'm in for that. How many likes is that then? We should be at a thousand likes on YouTube. I should check. Are we at a thousand? 121, bro. Thank you so much. If you guys are enjoying the stream, I would appreciate a like. I think it helps promote the stream. Of course, you don't have to click the button if you don't want to. Hey, Kilted, I love your content. I watch you and Pete every day. Keep it up. Aw. Thank you, Jan. I appreciate that. God, that 223 is terrifying. Okay. Trade on three again. Oh, no. The Ram Dingle taco sandwich. It loses four and a one. He's going to take North America from me. This is why. That was great for me. I lost four ones. Blue lost a bunch of troops. Pink lost a 25. I only got three troops to start the turn, though. I can't clean this. Nobody's opening this. Give Pink a thumbs up. Blue's gonna break black again. I 
I, I, blue can do this. I couldn't, I didn't have enough troops. Oh my God, these cards. Okay, he's actually not breaking black. He's just staying in here with a stack. Okay, that's fine. I thought he might break black because he has another opportunity to keep doing damage, but he doesn't. Does this come out? No. Oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck. I have no trade. I could kill blue right now and take third. If I kill blue and signal, if I kill blue and open black, black might be able to kill pink before me. No trade is also terrible. I'm going to go hide. I'm not threatening anybody and I'm staying away. Blue shouldn't be able to kill me. If he wants to ram Dingle, he can do a lot of damage to people without... Yeah, here we go. Okay. He's going for Asia. No? Okay, card blocks me. I mean, I don't care now. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is the this is the, so a lot of people hate classic fixed, but this is the psychological part of the game. Blue is ready to ram Dingle. I am the only person equal in size to him, or close. So he's putting pressure on me. Winning from this position with a player like Blue doing what he's doing is very tough, but it's very rewarding to win a game in this in this scenario, right? So... I could put that in his face, but if two stacks are pointed together and this 145 can't go another direction, the likelihood of them colliding is high. So depending on how crazy blue is, I could put my stack in his face. And because my stack is very big, maybe he doesn't try me. But if he does try me, the game ends immediately and I lose. And he is crazy enough and posturing in a way that maybe that costs me. Now, he has a plus two bonus and 12 territories, so he's getting three extra troops a turn on top of his regular. So he's getting six a turn. I still get eight a turn here, but I get no cards. <clears throat> so he's evening out a little bit with me. But we're both going to fall behind these guys. What is happening? And Pink's also got a 12 back. I think Pink already had the 12 back there. I'm not going to waste time. I'm skipping, so I take my turn fast. <laughs> Blue has accepted Alliance. Give him a thumbs up. I'm, did he al ally me for no reason, or is he going to take Asia and bring the 150 to Middle East? That would be funny. Black is going to let blue hold. This is this is how crazy it is. Because if blue's willing to get fourth, these guys are scared. Oh, I 
Jack Blue. You got to be easy, you know? I'm going to bring my stack to Alaska. If Blue Ram Dingle's pink, by the way, Black can almost win right away. Okay, he does. Okay, we, we give Blue all the time in the world to act. Blue is pissed. I take my turn in one second. While you're pissed, go at it. If I spend 30 seconds thinking there, Blue has time to cool down. I don't want him to cool down. I want him to ram Dingle. I want him to ram Dingle. Maybe he doesn't break me. Is it a fully? It's a fully. Black can't double kill us though. He can't triple kill or he loses. Now, if, if I get another turn, I could kill pink and take second. He's going to try to double... We just won this game. We won the game! He would need to slider blitz 80 and get like a 120. He would need a god roll to even have a chance. He needs a god roll to have a chance. He might get it. Here's the play. Is it a 10 trade? If he slider blitz 60 in and killed 100, then he'd have a 60 versus 100 still. No, I, I, no matter what, I'm going to have a stack to run. He'll be on four cards, though, and I'll be on three. It, it should just be over, unless that kills one. Oh, yeah, GG. Holy moly donut shop, baby. Those are the games. Kilted was the biggest pussy of them all and wins outright. Dude, I had to play my spot ball when you... I know you're trolling, but Jesus. All right, good game. Well played, and send you a heart. You guys know how this is gonna go. Oh my god, kill it. How do you know how to pass perfect and end in the Congo? Give me that Congo card, baby. Didn't have it. Didn't have it! Don't care. Beautiful game! Oh! Jesus, what a game. Key moment was recognizing that blue was crazy and hiding in the corner. Yeah, there were some... That's what I mean. Like, a lot of people are like, you, if you just hide and you do nothing, you get a free win sometimes. But, like, I could have very easily been Blue's target. There was a lot that could have happened there. Oh, my. That was a classic fix game with an expert, a beginner, and three masters. That was a classic fix game, boys. And I'm not sure how long that was. About an hour, probably. We were the South American turtle. We were the fifth position. We were the weakest player for the majority of that game. I think... That game showcased how to play Classic Fixed on hard mode, baby. We did it. That was a great game. You have now have 153 likes on YouTube. Thank you. Let's get it to 200. Pump it up. Those are rookie numbers. We're posting this on YouTube later, so thank you for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.